Hello again, this is the follow-up on the previous video regarding manual space combat. I was quickly reminded of some things and I just wanted to show them to you. First is the radiator. There are two buttons in the top that say extend radiators and retract radiators accordingly. This is needed for when you're using early game radiators that extend and retract as a essentially a solar panel. If I'm not mistaken, I'm using the tin droplet radiator. Let me check that. Yes, yes, the tin droplet radiator. So this is a magnetic force generating thing that just cycles droplets of liquid tin through space. Space is very cold. Tin is easy to melt. So essentially what you're getting is a clown of tin droplets that goes back to your ship ready to exchange more heat with the coldness of space. It doesn't have an extended position. So you do not need to control that. Otherwise, I could actually do something with those buttons. The moral is, whenever possible, go for cobalt dust or tin droplet radiator because it just makes stuff easier. Because a lot of times losing your radiator due to it being very vulnerable in extended position is one of the newbie mistakes in space combat. Another thing about the first part was that I didn't go through all the postures, the ways that the guns behave on the ship. So essentially you can target something and then set a posture on your ship. And this just change the mode of the weapon. The mode of the weapon is what matters. For example, I'm using a river jet missile bay and Iris torpedo bay on this, uh, what is that, Ajax class escort. It's essentially a very fast escort that doesn't rely on PD. The river jet missiles can fire at other missiles or they're essentially kinetic projectiles that fly towards you. And also it can be used as an attack weapon. The third mode is a fire salvo, which basically hurls 20% of weapons maximum ammo capacity. So if you use a magazine on that, the salvo will be actually bigger. You can manually control the amount of rockets being hurled at the enemy with just going between on and off. That's how it was in previous versions of the game. Iris Torpedo Bay doesn't have that. Yes, it cannot be used as a defensive weapon, it just fires itself. Another thing is ramming speed, and I already made it a notice in the description about it but i will talk about it a little bit in this video so when you're ramming you're not only losing 100 influence for that but the thing is you're trying to ram a military ship essentially using your own ship as a missile and to get close, you need to get past, uh, well, <laughs> essentially point defense. In this case, those are the kinetic weapons and the lasers of the ship. If you can get that close, why ram the opponent when you can just use the weapons of your ship to deal a lot of damage? For example, lasers or even mass use of kinetic weapons. Why lose resources when essentially at the point where you can get that close so that you could 
actually ram your opponent, you will have essentially the speed of an alien ship, the armor of close to an alien ship, and most importantly, you will have access to some munitions that can actually damage the ship and incapacitate them at least, if not outright destroy them. So, in very niche cases, ramming can do things, but it most of the time is only effective against ships that cannot shoot at you. They can shoot at you, they will shoot at you, they will incapacitate you, and then you won't be able to perform the actual ramming because you can't maneuver. What I want to demonstrate in this battle is evading enemy projectiles with just speed and also the point defense potential of the reject missiles. I almost forgot to track this and now I'm gonna do a very quick maneuver here. So let's see. Are we able to do that? Yes, and then we padlock. We are receiving fire, as you can see, and it's hitting us on the side, but the distance is what's limiting the damage of lasers. And we have something like 5 to 10 armor on the side, maybe? So that the usefulness of the armor at that distance might be as well very big, like plus 200% to actual armor rating. So the damage from the laser doesn't get through. But I will preventively uh, padlock this this guy, or maybe I will just try and uh, maneuver towards him, you know, so that I will have the speed needed to actually get the missiles going. And the monitor is just chilling out here, not actually going into the fight so that it's point defense cannot interfere with the fight. And I will actually use the river jack as an actual weapon and padlock. I don't see any effect on it. Yeah, I don't see any effect on that. I don't know why the Riverjack doesn't, doesn't actually fire. Is it a long range missile? Mm, I think not. The plasma is doing its thing and it's already incapacitated the enemy ship. Point defense is also doing its thing. Now the river jacks are going out. Let's see how well will they perform. I will actually fire them in separate ways. And another way. Missiles miss the ships. And the ships are intact. So you could see that Riverjacks do, did not fire at the kinetic projectiles because they would not hurt them. As we can see, the AX class escorts that run at Zeta Helium drives are very fast and can actually maneuver out of harm's way, and the singular ship with torpedoes and reject missiles are not the way to go if you don't fire them together. I'm going to do another test in skirmish 
that will just use a different method of firing. This time I will use the Riverjack missiles alongside the Aris Torpedo Bay as the Aris Torpedo Bay was shot down because it didn't have any mass together with it so the Aris Torpedoes could actually get through the point defense and do some damage. We'll also bundle up those two small ships together so that I will have more easiness in controlling them and will keep them close to each other and actually maneuver them accordingly so I will talk less probably in that part which is probably a good thing ship is destroyed, nice. The other ship is probably also dead. Ah, no, not really. Yes, it got, got some hits, but we're getting hits as well. Structural integrity in the central part of Obri is 0%. That is bad. And it's still operating as all the modules are intact. Fired all the far missiles, killing one ship and nothing else. So you need small, small ships like this. All the Nimulu class actually is different. So. Yeah, I will designate those as Rafales, as they are basically a strike small spacecraft, like a fighter in the atmosphere. There's... that's actually quite interesting. There's aliens coming at us, and they are using the basically the same method as we did there hurling stalagmas while accelerating so the kinetic stuff just gets way faster but we can maneuver out of house way which i'm going to demonstrate right now and we successfully maneuvered out of the volley but we also are getting hit by the laser, which is unfortunate. So that was the follow-up on the manual space combat guy. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas on how to use missiles or other weapons in the game, you could write your suggestions down below in the comments, and I will test them. And I'll see you guys next time.